Hello, my name is Olivia Keller and today my group and I are going to talk about the theme of unity and diversity. So the first example that we came up with is an example from The Lion King when Mufasa is walking with Simba and he explains the circle of life. And he says that everything is connected that you see Simba. Um, the gazelle eat the grass and we eat the gazelle and when we die we become the grass that the gazelle eat. And in this way, he demonstrates the circle of life, and today we are going to be talking about that unity and diversity that is represented through this quote from Lion King. So we're going to talk about producers, um, which are organisms that produce their own nutrition and energy, which they get from the sun, and we're gonna talk about which, for example, would be the grass, and we're gonna talk about those consumers, which are the lions that eat the gazelles or the gazelles. Do you know what this is from the first look? Actually, it's a 30-week human fetus. Based on the information encoded in DNA, which inherits from parents to offspring, the first cell transforms into an adult. All organisms have common features. For example, they consist of one or more cells that contain DNA, which is explained just now, and they live having raw materials and emitting energy and life learned shows great diversity. Next, diversity. The term life contains a lot of definitions. There are animals, plants, bacteria, and microbes. And also, there are tremendous kinds of species in each classification. They were diversified to adjust various environments they live in. Those have been generated through 4 billion years, and now it's said that there are 30 million species on the planet. However, what people have to know today is that many factors force a lot of species to be, to be faced with extinction. In summary, life has unity and diversity. On the one hand, life is unified, as all organisms grow and reproduce from a little single cell to an adult. And also, all organisms are alike in several ways, like they all consist of cells, they all have DNA, and so on. On the other hand, however, life is also diverse, as they are there are many kinds of living things ranging from plants to animals. And even in one category of animals, we have a lot of species. So this is all about our presentation of unity and diversity. Thank you for your attention.